finding some kind of common ground between economic means or lack of economic means and uh, music and the arts, right? We have social scientific realities of, remember he says, you know, we, uh, you know, we throw away trash, we shouldn't throw away people too. Um, you know, what's, uh, what's Fabio talking about there? Um, what's happening in this video? Any comments? It, 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 you don't have to like have the right answer, but what did you notice about this video? What are the issues raised? Laura? Um, I just think it's amazing that, I mean, there's so much, um, skill has to go into making an instrument and usually we think about like handcrafted violins that are like worth five thousand yep. dollars and the the technical knowledge to be able to make an instrument is is something that takes a long time to to learn to begin with but then to be able to have the inventiveness to see what you have to work with and then use that to make what you need rather than saying i have a picture of what i need and i need to find this i think it's just it's amazing. Like, I would never, ever in a million years be able to look at an oil can and say, that could be a cello. Like, that just it blows my mind. And the fork as the bridge, you see all those components, something used to make gnocchi, and there's like cooking components, they just picked them out of the trash. Terrell? Uh, well, after seeing the video, kind of see like what they're doing with recycling, uh, trash into the instrument. It's kind of like a counterbalance between like, uh, uh, like, I guess the Western capitalism consumerism. Mm. Because once you consume an item, you know, we have this fixed model where it goes to the land where it's done with, and you can't use it. Mm -hmm. And here they're saying, no, that's not the case. You know, we have a different model. So I think that's interesting. Okay, I'm going I'm to footnote uh, what Terrell's saying with uh, a book by William McDonough, who's an architect, sustainability architect, where he says, our current capitalist consumption system is cradle to grave. It's born, you know, you buy a car, it's born in the auto factory, you use it, it wears out, uh, you, know, you keep fixing it up, and then it gets to a point where you, you, you send it, it, some stuff just literally gets buried. Cars, we try to recycle the scrap metal, that kind of thing. And he's saying, what about cradle to cradle, right, where um, what we make is not disposed so much as we make it in the first place so that the parts can be reconfigured, reused, renewed. It's a, the book is called Cradle to Cradle, you know, sort of changing our whole uh, approach to design. Being more of an education psychological uh, point of view, I mean, it's the mentality of what an instrument is. To them, it sounds you know, it doesn't matter what it's made out of, as long as it can make the right sound, as long as they have mm -hmm. something to hear the rhythm, the music, and, you know, for us, it's this like... This idea of common ground here being about, well, how does it sound? I, I don't need to buy it from a catalog. Yeah, like, for us, it's like, oh, well, it depends on the model and the different brand, but to them, it's, they don't see no difference because they were never conditioned that way. Yeah, for did them, you... It, you know, uh, I, I couldn't, was talking about how it sounds. Check that out. He, he's got an oil can cello. He sounds like Yo-Yo Ma. For those of you who missed this, he's playing an oil can. <laughs> Inventiveness, right, being at the center of this Venn diagram. Transformation, redefining what a musical instrument is. Redefining what our resources are. Let me give you another example. Terrell, are you using that bucket? Uh, no. Is that a bucket? Yes. Epistemology, and what would Alan Repko say? Epistemology, as we look at this, this phenomenon of the bucket. We say it's a Home Depot bucket. What is a bucket? Rep which discipline can help us understand the bucket? Construction work. Uh, Engineering, maybe? Engineering. Construction engineering? Yeah. If I were an economist, I'd say, ah, the Home Depot bucket, an economic indicator. What's one of the economic indicators of a healthy economy? Housing starts. And housing, uh, redoing houses, construction, that sort of thing. So I see this as an icon of the American economy. Go to Home Depot, buy your buckets, make a cement porch, whatever. I would like to first redefine this bucket. And what does a bucket do? I'm going to define a bucket holds things. It can hold water, cement, or it can hold a bass drum pedal. So I'm going to re redefine this as a bass drum. But that's only the first start. So because what, I, what I'm noticing about social entrepreneurs and about this common ground strategy is once you begin to redefine something, you begin to transform how you use it, how you, how you use people, 
how you use trees, natural resources. There is a transformation that takes place. But the transformation takes some work. As you can see here, I'm going to share with you the work of trans redefining these objects in front of you. And now I'm doing the work, as social entrepreneurs do, and artists, of transforming these objects, which I could have found. I actually got this for free. I don't know where I found it. Um, but I didn't buy it. Okay, I am now redefining this as a bass drum. Nikki, can I borrow your bicycle wheel? Sure. Everyone, is this a bicycle wheel? Yes. Yeah. I would like to redefine this as a symbol. I'm going to put it up here. Now, I've created a transformational interface. I need a way, I could ask Laura to stand here and hold the bicycle wheel, but I don't know, that wouldn't be so much fun. M fun for me, not so much fun for her, because I get to hit it, she just has to hold it. So why not create an interface, entrepreneurs, some way of taking the redefined object and making it into a symbol? I really like that. So bicycle wheel has been redefined as a symbol, and I'm transforming these objects. Chris, you done with the water? Are you still thirsty? You want me around the set? Okay. So I, and again, to tra so I've redefined it. You know, this might make an okay drum, um, but I'm going to need to do some work to transform it into a drum set. So I've got this, actually this is drum hardware. So I, I need some of the, the drum pieces to mount this as a tom-tom. You all done with this bucket? This is a, a bucket. This is a water cooler bottle. A little one I found under my... Um, in-laws porch and they didn't need it anymore so I got it for free nothing here none of these found objects was purchased my wife didn't need the bicycle wheel anymore so she's got new wheels so um, symbol high tom tom low tom tom bass drum could I use your box this box this is a, a box drum, and it was transformed. The dock workers in South America, mainly uh, Brazil, the, 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 remember we talked about the, tr the slave trade, the economic trade. All these shipping crates, they're sitting around waiting for the next ship to come in. Somebody has the good sense to sit down on the shipping crate, right, this wooden box, and go. I'm now going to transform trash, not really trash, I'm going to transform objects uh, into music rhythms, okay? Into sound, okay? Because uh, this transformation has allowed me to crudely imitate or beautifully imitate a drum set. I was taught to play a real drum set, and I thought, well, what if I. Drum sets are expensive. Is there a way for me to make a drum set from materials you can find and then teach kids to do this as well? Uh, and I've done this in, a, in an after-school program up in uh, north of Boston. Sorry, I don't play in shoes. Part of the transformation means taking my shoes off because uh, it would be like playing, you have holding drumsticks with gloves. So, um, bucket becomes bass drum. Tom Toms from water bottles, symbol. I cheated a little. I actually got some flack from an audience member who said, how come you didn't make your own hi-hat? This is called a hi-hat. It kind of looks like a hat. These are real symbols. He said, go find some hubcaps. I mean, come on. Right? It wrecks the aesthetic. The aesthetic. What do we mean by an aesthetic? The overall presentation of it, the look of it. The yeah. Look of it. Yeah. The, the spirit of this, this thing that I've created is about um, homemade. It's, it's a homemade instrument as, as those were. So what could you do, the work of transformation, now that I've, I've redefined these as musical instruments, I need to do the work of getting music out of them, as that it won't be as nice as Yo-Yo Ma or Brahms or, uh, or Bach, but um, we can do this.
<laughs> Any of you play drums? Jennifer told me she used to play drum set, so um, I'm all into sharing. So once class is done, you're welcome to come up here and try this out. Does it feel like a drum set? So I redefine these objects as musical instruments. And the test of my redefinition is, is uh, does it transform the way I approach drum set? I actually play this set a little differently than I play a regular drum set. I was raised on Led Zeppelin and classic rock. And you know, rock and you play a lot of hi-hat. But this, here's, here's what transformation, it's not only transforming the population, but the, the entrepreneur, the creator, the, the inventive person, him or herself, is transformed. It, this has transformed the way I play. I play a drum set more like a percussion, percussionist. I'm much more centered around here than, you know, if you watch a rock drummer, they're slamming the hi-hat, and it's very cymbal-oriented. Whereas, the reason I put the djembe where a snare drum would normally go is so I could also do stuff like... and I studied with a, with a Caribbean percussion. <laughs> <laughs> and, go ahead and open the door. I'll give him a drum roll. <laughs> Announcing! Nobody! Yes. Oh, you have a class going on. I'm sorry. We're done. It was a demonstration. Success is <laughs> pissing somebody off. How do you redefine success? <laughs> okay. There we have it. Okay? I'm also videotaping this. So, uh, <laughs> should I post it on Blackboard? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So, um, <sighs> get it? That was a workout. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I'm like, oh, I'm just getting warmed up. Luckily, oh, okay. So, here's uh, an announcement for today. With that, this.